No baby should have to go through that. New reaction tonight to the arrest of a Fort Wayne mom accused of neglect in the death of her five month old son. Good evening everyone. I'm Tom Powell. Linda has the night off. Detectives say the mother told them she'd been drinking all night and when she woke up, the baby was on the floor. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Louis Tran is here with our big story tonight. Tom, neighbors are devastated. One woman tells me everyone for the most part knows each other in the apartment complex and they couldn't believe it happened especially at a place they call home. A calm and chilly December day at the Beacon Heights apartments. I love living here at Beacon Heights. Very pleasant environment. No controversy whatsoever. No controversy that was until Saturday. It was disturbing, very disturbing. Well, I was very shocked. I was in distraught. A disturbing and shocking moment for neighbors. 30-year-old Jasmine Johnson in custody. Court documents paint a picture of what happened Saturday night. Johnson first told police she didn't want to disturb her sleeping son, so she placed him on her bed in his car seat. She says she and her brother then began drinking and smoking before she fell asleep. When she woke up, she says she couldn't find her baby and her brother was gone. A short time later, that's when she found her baby face down on the floor, unresponsive. After that, she called a friend for a ride to the hospital. Doctors say the infant's head injuries were so severe, his skull was caved in. They also say when the baby arrived to the hospital, medical personnel were unable to find a pulse. It's unbelievable. It's, it's very shocking. That makes me feel very sad. It also makes me feel angry a little, you know, knowing that someone could do that to a small child. Devastating news for folks at the Beacon Heights apartment. Neighbors hoping no other family will have to endure this pain. Please take care of your babies and keep them safe. No baby should have to go through that. Court documents also say Johnson later told police she remembered putting her baby in a crib before she went to sleep. Police say they found a red stain on the floor next to the crib and on the crib rails as well, and they found a onesie in the bedroom with the red stain.